So, Temptation is, um, I guess, my, my first um, journey on a, let's say, a, a G-rated PG-13 type movie. Temptation is a story about a couple where the wife gets saved before the husband and how the relationship changes. Let's count the rest of the week. There's Wednesday night, Bible study. Friday night, what is it, a woman's auxiliary? And on Saturday, you spend all your day prepping for Sunday school. And on Sunday, Lord have mercy, all day long, church, church, church. You need to come and see what it's about. I did, remember? I'm just not into giving Reverend Slick Pimp Daddy all my money putting it in a basket. Look, I'm gonna just be honest with you. It may hurt your feelings, but Jesus do not pay my bills. I'm looking on a dresser now with still unpaid bills there. I know I did not just hear that come from your mouth. You need to have some respect for the Lord. How the devil kind of works his way. For the Lord. Constantly recycling his whole thing, you know, luring, you know, preachers. People like, people you look up to, hire people, politician, whatever, you know, how the devil, which is Jake, that's his name in this particular film. We know it by different names, it'd be different colors. And Jake isn't one particular color or one particular type, but normally African Americans see Jake as um, a character that's um, a white man with a ponytail. We can handle this business, what we talked about, let's say around uh, 12 noon, all right? 12 noon. I already got my boys in place. You sure you got some good stuff, dog? Man, look, like I said one time before, I got the best product in town. You know, the devil exists, exists among all of us, you know, and the simple fact that, you know, it don't make a difference with him if you black or white or um, if you've committed a sin or haven't committed a sin. You know, the biggest deal of all is to have some type of focus about your spirituality and who you are. Well, um, basically the type of audience that I'm trying to reach with, um, with Temptation is um, the Christian What's up, man? Where you been you know, at? I just um, paid you. It's an audience yeah, that's that. um, yeah, pretty much business. ignored up, by over, right? um, filmmakers, um, you know, the financial people, the money people that put money up for movies because most um, financial institutions will tell you in a minute, in a heartbeat, if it's got religious content in it, we don't want much to do with it. But then you go, well, it's a good story. Um, action, it's, it's suspense. It's about people that you know. Julie. Yes, dear. You know we late. And you know our pastor is on Sunday. He don't wait for nobody. So we need to go. OK, OK, OK. You have a long day. Grab my bag. The audience that I'm trying to reach is um, the hardcore Christian audience. And as everybody know, you know, from 24-7 the movie, which was my first film, you know, um, Washington, D.C. have um, pretty much, has been acting as a back lot for me, you know, Bruce Brown yeah. Film Works, as far as making my films. You know, at the premiere yeah. 24-7, I committed to make, you know, um, my next five movies here in Washington, whether I got financing or went to Hollywood or whatever, you know. As far as I'm concerned, you know, movie making is movie making. And, you know, not to say that if I was in Hollywood that I wouldn't be in Washington making films. I think Washington is a very interesting black community. For people to see 24-7, um, Tim Teller that played the lead, um, which um, the character Eric in 24-7 is playing, actually a character named Tim <laughs> in Temptation. Um, Renee Cooper is um, playing Julie, and Kelvin Davis is playing Jake. And I tell you, man, um, their performances already before the film is out, just in dailies, is just outstanding, as they say, off the hook. Kelvin Davis pay, played Jake, and um, he do such a convincing Jake. I mean, you know, he gets into this character, he gets into this whole, you know, very arrogant, devil-type thing, you know? And he displays it, and the wild part is off camera, you know. This guy is um, real low-keyed and um, can turn around and be fashion model of the week, you know. So I'm, I'm really excited about bringing him to screen. I know how hard it is to struggle. I mean, I struggle from my belly up to my feet. I even felt like I was slithering from my belly just to get to my feet. 
But once you get to your feet and own your own business, own your own soul, baby, that's a powerful thing. Um, Renee Cooper is um, a local here as well. Um, she's dib and dabbled in um, a lot of um, local commercials and um, short films and stuff like this. So hopefully um, this is her chance to show herself in a full length, you know, feature film to really show off her range of acting. Guess what? <laughs> what? Your prayers have been answered. What prayers? Stop bobbing your head. What's going on with you? I got a job. You got a new job? A job, boo, a job.